Alongside the app icon, screenshots, and videos, there are some other creative assets that you can and should optimize on your app page. In this video, we'll take you through some tips and best practices to optimize your app's promotional artwork on the App Store and your feature graphic on Google Play. Let's start with the promotional artwork on App Store product pages. You might have seen some apps and games with a banner image at the top of their App Store pages. Developers are asked to upload this creative in App Store Connect when their app is being considered for an iOS featuring. For example, if your game is going to be featured as Game of the Day, Apple would start by asking you to provide an image that will serve as the main featured image on the Today tab. Apple emails developers and specifically asks them to upload this creative in App Store Connect. For some developers, Apple will also ask them to upload a banner image to go on the product page itself, which is what we call promotional artwork. When designing this banner image, keep the following tips in mind. Number one, design artwork that's evergreen and will be relevant for at least six months. This is because this creative can only be updated when Apple considers your app for a featuring and requests you upload the creative. Next, design promotional artwork that showcases your brand and supports your brand identity. Don't add complicated gameplay or specific features to it. Instead, focus on your brand voice or aesthetic, brand values, and relevant context. For games, promotional artwork is a great way to feature main characters or major storytelling elements. Some great examples come from Disney+, Plus, Hinge, Headspace, and Pokemon Go. Other brands that choose to keep it simple are Duolingo, Tinder, and Reddit. Next, make sure your design appeals to all target markets, as you can't provide a different image per locale. This means you should definitely not include any text outside of the logo on your artwork. It's okay to add your logo, as you can upload localized versions of it on separate layers of the artwork template. Make sure your design appeals to all target markets, as you can't provide a different image per locale. This means you should definitely not include any text outside of the logo on your artwork. It's okay to add your logo, as you can upload localized versions of it on separate layers of the artwork template. Remember that once you've added the promotional artwork, remember that once you've added the promotional artwork or banner to your product page, it'll take up extra space and push the rest of your metadata down, modifying the appearance of your screenshots. This will require store visitors to scroll down to be able to see your screenshots in full. For example, Royal Match added captions to the bottom of its screenshots. Because of the promotional artwork, the screenshots are pushed down and the captions are out of sight at first glance. Merge Mansion, on the other hand, added its captions at the top of the screenshots, and they remain super visible despite the screenshots being pushed down. Therefore, we recommend that you adapt your screenshots accordingly. Let's move over to Google Play. Unlike Apple, Google doesn't provide the possibility to add a banner at the top of store listings. However, there is another creative you should optimize to showcase your app's features and functionality, the feature graphic. The feature graphic is displayed in various places on Google Play, including as a cover image for your preview video and on the For You page, where the feature graphic displays when apps or games are featured in a large format collection. Feature graphics can be a very powerful tool to engage your target market as they can be shown alongside your icon and app name throughout the store. Let's get into some best practices to make sure this fundamental part of your visual assets looks its best. Since the feature graphic is shown in different places throughout the Play Store alongside the app icon and app name, it's advised to design an image that conveys the essence of the Apple game. Use this creative to grab users' attention and highlight your app's core value proposition, relevant context, or storytelling elements. In the US, Uber Eats highlights some American staples users can order through its app. Photolab's feature graphic showcases the type of designs that users can use the app to create. Lords Mobile provides context by showing a battlefield in its feature graphic, and Wordscapes has designed a very simple yet powerful feature graphic that highlights gameplay. Google advises against using this creative to showcase your logo. Since the feature graphic shows alongside the app icon, designing something that's heavily branded will just cause duplication. Instead, Optimize for branding elements that serve as an extension of your app icon. 
Despite Google's recommendations, we do see that many big brands like Netflix, Instagram, and Zara have chosen to only showcase their brand logos in their feature graphics. They might argue that this makes their app stand out more from competitors in the Explore recommendations. Next, make sure that your feature graphic is recognizable and durable. Remember that this creative will be seen by a wide variety of users who might have never heard of your app or game before. Make sure to appeal to a broad audience and avoid highlighting time-sensitive promotions, as these will have to be regularly updated. For instance, the Solitaire app has created a great feature graphic that's recognizable and refers to gameplay. On the other hand, PixArt's feature graphic is neither very straightforward nor evergreen, it showcases some of the new templates that are available, rather than highlighting its main features that appeal to a wide user base. Keep it simple. Only focus on one element and use your captions wisely. Limit the number of words on the creative and choose a large font size. Feature graphics display rather small throughout the Play Store, so make sure they're legible and easy to understand. The planning app, Tosquito, chooses a minimalistic, easy to read feature graphic. Buzz Games, on the other hand, showcases its many games all at once, making the design harder to figure out. You should also use bright colours to attract users' attention. Bright colours will make your app or game stand out from competitors, whereas black and white colour palettes risk blending in too much with the Google Play background. Microsoft To-Do List has a fun and colourful feature graphic that catches users' eyes. By contrast, Crossword Puzzles feature graphic doesn't really grab attention with its predominantly black and white palette. Don't forget to adhere to Google's policy guidelines and avoid content that suggests performance like ranking, user testimonials, or awards. Don't include any price or promotional information, and don't use words like new, free, discount, or sale. Lastly, remember that practice makes perfect. Experimentation is key to designing visual assets that improve your conversion rates. So run A-B tests on your creatives and rely on data to identify which type of feature graphic resonates best with Google Play visitors.